Scott Williams. I'm the Senior Cloud Architect for Rapid Scale, and we're going to walk through ScienceLogic, uh, our monitoring and ticketing platform uh, that is uh, basically designed to be robust and secure so that we can have our customers come in and be able to see transparently what's going on and then give them tangible results uh, to forecast and go back and see what kind of information they need uh, in regards to their systems overall over time and also do uh, potential capacity planning as well. Now, there, this is a multifaceted platform because not only does it give you the capability to visualize this information, but also trend it out. And then what we can do is actually build thresholds. Uh, like as an example, well, we're showing the Rapid Scale Solutions Engineering Dashboard. Now, this is a dashboard that we can create for our customers. And this will allow our customers to, to go in and see in real time what's happening with their given systems. Uh, it could be anything from uh, just a Windows machine or a Linux machine, just getting basic metrics. And these metrics would be you know, what's going on with the CPU utilization, what's going on with memory utilization, uh, and then also look at uh, storage. So if uh, their hard drive is filling up at a certain point, uh, we can see how much if that's being filled. Like here, we're showing storage utilization at 59%. We can then actually click on that uh, device and then get a better idea of what's going on and take a deeper dive and see what's trending in regards to how much storage is actually being consumed over a period of time. So this gives them the capability to see if, whether or not they need to add more resources uh, or reduce uh, storage within their given applications or data sets uh, that they're using uh, within their own application as well. This uh, is also multi-tenant. So Customer A cannot see customer B's information. Uh, that's one of the nice things about leveraging uh, this platform. So we're able to literally go in and, and see uh, per customer from a, from a top view uh, as well as the customer themselves seeing things, which adds to the transparency of what we're trying to, to convey to our customers is that they have systems that are performing accordingly, and then it kind of reduces the, the amount of finger pointing, whether or not it's the application or whether it's the actual uh, infrastructure that's causing an issue or if there's just resource constraints that are there that need to be added uh, and then they need to purchase more storage or they need to purchase more CPU capacity uh, or memory or what have you. So not only does it give you information about storage, but you can also see other things uh, in regards to you know, performance uh, across the board. Uh, you know, again, CPU utilization, uh, you'll be able to see what's going on and look at the trends over time, uh, network information, uh, and, and so on. So it kind of breaks things down. Uh, we could take it a step further and look at what kind of processes are running uh, within a, a given uh, operating system and then take those processes uh, in, into account where we can actually trend those processes to see if they're running out of memory and what have you. So you can see here that we can even break down certain things that are running inside of the actual virtual machine uh, running, as you can see here, on Windows Server 2012. Now, that being said, we can also monitor other things like, uh, like TCP ports, UDP ports. Now, these are network ports that are, uh, that are shown uh, that can be monitored, and we can basically tell you what's running on any given port uh, at any point in time, and then we can monitor against that port. Like as an example, if you're running a web server and you want to monitor port 80, uh, we'll be able to do that and then pull that information in and then tell you how often that port has gone up or down or what have you. We can also look at you know, previous events uh, in the past. As you can see, we don't have anything going on here, but we can look at uh, trends of events uh, and get a better idea of what's going on uh, within the actual event logs of the operating system uh, and then also uh, in text logs uh, within the application, like if you're running an Apache web server or if you're running uh, a, an information, uh, Internet information server from Windows as well. We can pull all that stuff together. Uh, and basically, this kind of helps you drill down to see what's going on within, within a given system. Uh, the other nice feature uh, that we offer is the capability to see this in, in real time uh, and then also trend it out over time uh, across the board. So we can look at six hours right now. We could look at 24 hours, uh, see how things trend out over 24 hours, uh, or even up to you know, 30 days, uh, even up to 90 days. Uh, I don't think we have this. It goes that far. But you can look, yes, we do actually. So you can actually see how things trended out over the last 90 days. 
uh, in regards to uh, graphing these systems out and what have you. Now, the, what we're showing you here are widgets, and these widgets can be customized to match uh, the customer's needs. Uh, and so they can literally see what's happening in real time and get a better idea of how things are laid out. Another nice feature uh, that we, we also offer, uh, actually, I'm going to pause this for one second and shift to another uh, dashboard uh, so we can look at uh, our global data centers. I just got to bring this back up here. Uh, this kind of gives us a, an overview uh, where we can see in real time what's happening throughout our entire environment. Uh, and this is part of our, our network operations that we kind of review. We could build out a similar dashboard for our given customers as well. So they can literally see what is happening uh, within their given uh, platforms. Uh, obviously, we have several thousand devices. So if one device kind of built, bubbles up where it's showing red, you'll see red. This doesn't mean that everything's down in, in a given location, but it helps you kind of drill down uh, to see uh, what's going on uh, within that given location. So we can drill down to certain devices that will show up uh, and so on. What we can also do is look at mapping uh, certain things within a, a given data center. So you can literally take a look and, and see what's happening uh, within that given data center and then be able to see how things are, are lined up and laid out. You could take a Visio drawing and we can apply that to a given uh, dashboard and what have you. So that's one way we can look at certain things. Uh, also, if you're looking at applications where we're dealing with uh, like web or web URLs and, and things like that, we can actually monitor, uh, monitor your, your web applications and so on. So as uh, I'm going to bring it back up. So you can see in real time what's going on with a given website and see any kind of trending analysis uh, that's happening uh, within that given system or platform. What we're also doing is we're working on a way to tie in what's called the service chain. Now what this means is that we're looking at a multifaceted monitoring solution for our customers where they can see things from a business service perspective. So a service such as uh, email or, or Skype systems that are online or just an application that you want to show in, a, in an executive dashboard, uh, we can show that as a business services uh, platform as well. And this is under, under uh, current development. So if we were to uh, you know, look at that and see you know, how things are, are tied up uh, in regards to uh, that dashboard, we can, we can show you in, in real time what's, what's happening there and, and see how things are, are, are played out. The, the other thing that we w w do uh, for our customers is uh, if they're looking at, you know, an Active Directory infrastructure, uh, which I'm pulling up now, uh, here we can show, you know, w what's happening within a given uh, domain controller or, or, or what have you, uh, and we can show certain events. Uh, this is all a test right now, but we're, we're testing some things out where you can see, you know, what's going on with CPU utilization and, and gauges and, and different uh, widgets and what have you. So these are some of the things that, that come into play. Uh, in regards uh, to, to, to uh, building out uh, you know, a domain monitoring platform and, and so on. The other thing that we can do is we can look at events and tickets. Um, so we have a, we have a built-in ticketing platform that ties in. So what happens uh, with the ticketing platform, which I'm trying to pull up now, uh, I'm going to try to see if I can mask this just a little bit. Uh, this is just a, just a test platform where we're actually generating tickets, uh, looking at you know, certain things as far as you know, systems with email. So we were doing some testing here with, uh, with go, by going through and, and actually generating tickets in real time. So what happens here uh, in this ticketing platform is if there's a problem with a customer's platform or infrastructure or application, what we can then do is literally generate a ticket on the fly based upon a threshold. So if a CPU is at 95%, we will generate that th uh, a ticket and an email, uh, which will send out an alert based upon that threshold. The other nice feature about that is that if uh, a customer elects to have their, their texting uh, platform enabled, we can send an email to a, to a texting service. Uh, obviously, we could do Verizon and AT&T to direct phones. Uh, and you can readily see that information there. Uh, and then you'll get a text on the fly whenever a threshold uh, is met. Uh, so if you want to just get notifications for major items, those major items will then be 
established uh, uh, as an email alert, and then we can do a high level no notification for critical, whereas a critical alert would go through and basically be sent directly to a, to a phone. Uh, and that way you, you get the text. It's on top of, of uh, you know, what's on your notification screen uh, on your mobile device uh, as well. So these are some of the, the features and, and advanced capabilities that, that we we can provide uh, and, and then build out and then offer a complete 360 monitoring and ticketing solution, uh, whereas a customer can use our, our ticketing system and then get notified in case of a, an infrastructure issue uh, within their virtual data center, uh, whether it's uh, you know, related to the application, whether it's related to an event in the event logs, because we can actually scan event logs uh, with our agent installed on the operating system and pick certain events that happen and then have those generate events inside of ScienceLogic, which then allow you to uh, take that event once it's generated and then create an email notification, also create uh, a ticket. And then what's interesting about tickets based upon the severity, they will auto-escalate through our support st structure, uh, whereas we have level one, level two, and level three support. Uh, we also have security incident support, uh, and we also have uh, you know, support that leads all the way up to the architecture teams uh, and engineering. And so as, as things progress over time, if things aren't touched, uh, they will escalate uh, accordingly to make sure that those systems are, are being uh, seen. And then since it correlates directly with the device, we can actually go back in time and see, oh, yes, we saw a memory leak over time, and, and we were able to resolve that issue uh, because it could have been a memory leak, or it could just been a it could have just been a resource issue that needed more resources, like more extra uh, extra vCPUs or actual uh, VRAM or storage, for that matter. Uh, so these are all, and then we also have reporting capabilities as well, where we can look at reports and generate reports, uh, and then have those uh, formatted into HTML or PDF, uh, and then we can do a report build uh, for a given customer to make sure that they have access uh, to to their information. And that pretty much wraps up most of the capabilities that you would see as, as an initial overview of Science Logic. And if you have any questions uh, concerning the monitoring platform uh, or ticketing uh, for that matter, feel free to email me uh, at my address, uh, which is scott.williams at rapidscale.net.